Hello, there's Spear Matches, and welcome back for another How to Mod Luxor video with Conus Board. Now, apologies, it's been a while since the last one, but I was hospitalized, so yeah, stuff happened. So today, this video normally wasn't supposed to exist, but we have had... I have had two things happen to me. First of all, there's actually a new level editor. Yes, Luxor Mapper by Soul Survivor. So yeah, it's not just Node now, so I kind of have to update the tutorial and stuff. Second of all, people actually came to ask me in the comments, how do you use, uh, how do you open Node? So now this video exists. So this video is pretty much how to download and open the software. Like pretty much, that's it, really, that's it. So all you have to do is go to Spear Matches, click Browse Mods, and then you scroll down from the top to the section called Interested in Modding. There are two links, one to Node, one to Luxor Mapper. As of the time I'm recording this, Node is in 2.0 and Luxor Mapper 1.7. So in Node, you'll just take the latest download link, which is the one right below the end logo. Select the download link and basically when it asks you to download, you just download the file. For Luxor Mapper, it's pretty much the same thing. You'll have, to, you'll have a link to download the latest version and then from there, when when the page loads, from there you just basically uh, are you serious? Never mind. Ignore that. When it tells you to sign, just clonk it. Click download, direct download, and it should download it to your computer like straight away. So now that we're actually in the downloads folder, Luxor Mapper is like really really small. So when it tells you, when it tells you to run, basically run it. Now I'm going to be going into Node when it loads. And we're back. Now Node version 2 has been downloaded. So if you're on Windows, all you have to do is double click it. And as and a 7-zip self-extracting archive would open. There we go, yeah. So basically, once it opens, all you have to do is select uh, where to extract it to. And it will basically extract the whole program for you. But now for something more complicated. For people who aren't uh like on Windows, uh you may wonder, oh crap, it's an EXE file, how do I open it? All you have to do is have 7-zip uh and then uh or whatever pr extracting program you have on Mac, you open the archive, then you extract it. It is actually a though it's labeled as an exe file it is actually a 7-zip file so you can basically just use any self-extracting archive and extract it and so once you extract it you'll have the beautiful beautiful nocturnal hour the vertex editor and for luxor mapper just click run anyway trust the software and it will run and you can follow the instructions there as well so that's it for today's video next week we will actually be um making a node path so that that's something new finally we're making paths like, it's been a while. See you guys next week.